In this VMaker review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about VMaker. If you have any questions, please comment them down below, and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can get your money's worth for VMaker. VMaker is an advanced screen and webcam recording tool. This is what you should see once you have logged into this software. Straight off the bat, it is very bright, very vibrant, and very welcoming. VMaker has a few different features where it makes recording a lot more fulfilled for its users. So to start off, we're just gonna go over some of the features and some of the layout, and then I'm gonna dive deeper into each one. Here is the VMaker logo up here in the top left corner. Once you click on that, it should take you back to the main page. Over to the right of that, you can actually download VMaker. If you don't actually wanna keep going on a website, you can download it to your PC or your desktop or whatever device you are using, and then you'll be able to use it straight from that. To the right of that, you can click this button, the dashboard button, which should take you to your dashboard. To the right of that, you have your pricing, since VMaker is a priced software. To the right of that, you've got your support and your tour, if you don't know what you're doing with VMaker. To the right of that, you can actually book a demo if you like, and then finally, you do have your accounts right here, where you can change any account settings or log out of the software. So there you go, this is the main page of VMaker. You can actually start recording videos straight away as soon as you log in. Or to the left, you can see what is actually featured on VMaker. You have your dashboard, shared with me, my team, branding, privacy and security, or you can even join their affiliate program. Down in the bottom left, you can actually upgrade here just like you can up at the pricing section. And overall, it is a very welcoming software interface. So to start off going through the features, we're just gonna go ahead and actually click record. We're gonna go ahead and click this since we haven't actually recorded a video yet, so there's no point going into the my videos section. So if you come over here and click record, once you click that, this page or this overlay should open up. It should open up an overlay to your left right here as you can see with a few features and it should open up one to the top right hand corner right over here so straight off the bat we're just going to go and look at the top right hand corner so right here you can see we're already on the screen section right below that you can either click if you want vmaker to record your full screen so the actual screen you are on or you can actually choose to record just your tab in case you don't want to actually go onto anything else and have the video move away. As you can see here, you can actually set up your hardware and VMaker should recognize that hardware and you should be able to identify which one is which. Right here, you can see my webcam is here. However, I can't use it at the moment since I'm using it for this recording. Same with my microphone and same with my audio. Right below that, you can actually change the recording quality from auto to any of these. Now, the better quality is actually behind a paywall so if you really want to use VMaker full time, you would have to pay for it, but you do get 4K HD quality. Once you've gone through all this, you can actually move on to the webcam section where if you're not using your webcam like me, your webcam should open up in this section. And you can actually change whether you want to enlarge it or any other features. Or the final feature of VMaker, you can actually choose to either record your screen and your webcam if you would want, which right here, it should bring it up and you can actually click and drag this wherever you want. However, we don't want that. So if you do not want your webcam actually on, you can click this X button right here and it should take you back to the screen section. Moving all the way over to the left, you can actually see we do have a seven minute mark right here. This is just here because again, we are on the free version, but if you do pay for it, you can actually go above seven minutes. Right below that, you have your stop button, you have your pause button, cancel button, and your mute or unmute button. Right below that, you can choose to draw. However, it is behind the pro paywall. So I'm just gonna go ahead and record a quick video just so we can see how the rest of the software works within its interface of saving videos. So right over here, once you've set up all of your settings and all of your hardware, you would click start recording. It should count down like that, and then it should start recording. As you can see, we've got these little icons here. However, overall, it should be recording my movements now, whether I click on shared with me or dashboard. Let's go ahead and stop the recording so we can see what we've recorded so far. You'd come over to this button and click stop the recording right here. Once you've stopped the recording, it should open up this new tab where it does actually save the recording. You just have to wait a few seconds for the recording you've just done to save. And there you go, it should open up. Down here, you can change the title of your recording. We're just gonna change it to review. And you're able to share your recording or even copy your video link up here. Heading back to the dashboard, as you can see, now we actually have our review recording. You can see I've titled it review. 
and you can also edit it here if you wish we'll just change it to reviews if you are to click on this again it does open up that same tab from before where you can actually share your recording or edit it next moving on to the shared with me if anyone else or if your friends are using vmaker they can actually share their videos with you so you can actually watch videos as well as well as you can share your videos with them and on their dashboard it should be the same however we don't have any friends that we actually can share with so we don't have any shared with me file right below that you've got my team again if you've got any people to add you'd be able to enter their email address and actually add a team where you can all record and share videos with each other this is where you'd enter their email addresses select if they're a member or an admin and then you'd be able to send the invite once it's done Below this on the left hand side again you have your branding, this is where you can change the branding of your team, you can edit your profile, you can edit your settings or your privacy and security. You could go ahead and remove the vMaker branding if you don't actually want the vMaker branding on your video recordings, however again that is behind a paywall and you would have to pay for that package. Below that again behind another paywall you actually can change the brand logo, the brand colour or even the branded URL for your team. All the way at the bottom. In the enterprise bit you can actually have a cta button once you have done all this and paid for it you just click save and it save all of your branding for your account back to the dashboard section you can actually see if you hover over one of your videos let's say we don't even want this video anymore you can either edit it if you hover over these three buttons play it duplicate it move it share it copy it or delete it like i said let's say we don't even want this video anymore we would be able to delete it like this by just clicking on the delete button and it should say are you sure you want to delete it and you click yes and there you go it should have deleted your video and you'd go and record another one by going through the same process over and over again and there you go that is the review for vmaker overall it is a very welcoming very well designed software if you're looking for a simplistic screen recorder or a webcam recorder vmaker is the one i would choose personally i like a couple of features from vmaker mainly the features how you can actually build your own team and share videos between each other it has a very easy interface to use and you can also easily record your videos as long as you've as long as you've paid through the paywall vmaker is a really good software to download and use on your desktop would I recommend this to anyone? Yes, I would. If they're looking for a simplistic video recording software, vMaker is the one I would recommend. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.